It begins with the day when, as a teenager at my boarding school in Cambridge in England, I set fire to my Bible. My brother wrote a book attacking God and Christianity and religion in general. And there are things that he says that are wrong, and I can say so. Blessed are they that fear the Lord and walk in his ways. I thought that this gesture would be a way of showing that I had finally rejected all the things I'd been brought up to believe in. And I went on to behave for the next 20 years of my life or so exactly as if I didn't believe in them. And that's how I discovered in the end that what I had rejected was right. I tell the story because this is very much how I regard the new atheists. Self-satisfied, arrogant, intolerant, completely resistant to any kind of outside argument and contemptuous of it. No, I think most of them don't know what they're doing. And one of the purposes of my book is to point out to, to those of them who are perhaps open to any kind of persuasion, the dangers of what it is they're pursuing. The profoundly intolerant and in effect totalitarian nature of the program which they're beginning to set up. You see this all the time in the rage against God of the new atheists. They're angry. They're angry with something. They feel that, this, that something's getting in their way. Someone reads the Ten Commandments to them and they say these are horrible, oppressive rules. They don't realize what their real purpose is in, in, in goodness, but they do see that they are, they are a nuisance to their plans to be the sole source of good. 